true wisdom. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding, seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the air? Destruction and death say, We have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven, to make the weight for the winds, and he weigheth the waters by measure. When he made a decree for the rain, and a way for the lightning of the thunder, then did he see it, and declare it. He prepared it, yea, and searched it out. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Job chapter 28 verses 20 to 28. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalm chapter 111 verse 10. Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly, as far as light excelleth darkness. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 13. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 19. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James chapter 1 verses 5 to 8. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. James chapter 3 verses 13 and 17. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 My son, if thou wilt receive my words, and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous, he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment, and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. Proverbs chapter 2 verses 1 to 9. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Proverbs chapter 4 verses 5 to 9. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. It is as a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. Proverbs chapter 10 verses 23 and 31. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. 
He that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. Proverbs chapter 11 verses 2 and 12. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 8. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 10. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 15 verses 21 and 33. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Proverbs chapter 16 verse 16. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 8. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 23. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 3. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 15.